Ho! What is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster, and welcome to I Forgot. Uh, this is a charming little game that is actually a horror game, as uh, you probably could have suspected, or maybe you didn't. But I uh, wanted to check these options here, <laughs> and you can give the mustache to the little frog, this little silly stash. I think I'm gonna keep that on. And then there's also frog facts here in the main menu. A notable member of the amphibian group. Frogs are primarily harmless. <laughs> True. Diverse in their distribution, frog species can be found in tropical to subarctic areas of the world and outer space. As with all other amphibians, frogs are cold-blooded, which means they are off the chain. Me. <laughs> this is wonderful. But anyway, let's go ahead and hit play. And also, Happy Thanksgiving to those of you who are out there. Oh, is that a kiwi bird? Kiwi? Hey, he's eating my pizza. <laughs> yes? Are you gonna sit there in the dark all day? Maybe I will, little kiwi, maybe I will. <laughs> what, do you, what would you like me to do? Well, whatever floats your goat. <laughs> Thanks, kiwi. I love him. <laughs> what is going on? What was that? Uh, I wonder if our neighbor, Crazy Dave, microwaved his phone again. You should probably go check it out. But don't forget, you gotta use WASD to walk around and keep an eye on your crosshair. When it lights up red, you can use E to interact with stuff. Thanks, Kiwi. Come back and tell me what happened after you find out. Will do, little guy. Will do. <laughs> oh, yes. I love silly little horror games. Talk to Santiago. Hey, go check out that noise. I think it came from upstairs. All right, Santiago. I will. Oh, look, at, look at this quaint little home. This beautiful, beautiful environment outside. Wow, such a homey little place. We got all these dresser drawers with books and knickknacks. We got a Rubik's Cube and a journal. Can't mess with the TV. All right, let's go check out the noise upstairs. Hello? I must have forgotten what to do here. Hello? Neighbor? Where are you, buddy? It's so dark inside, by the way. Buddy, are you up here? What happened? Are you okay? Look at this little sailboat. So cute. All right, you must be in here then, surely. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> Hello, little frog. <laughs> hey, you. You're finally awake. Ah, a talking frog. What happened to my room? Is that a Skyrim reference? Seriously? <laughs> Shh, that's not important. <laughs> I know what I look like, but I'm not actually a frog. I'm an all-powerful wizard. My name's Diego, smiley face. But I don't remember how I turned into a frog, like amnesia or something. Basically, I forgot. <laughs> Is that a frog pun? Start from the beginning, tell me everything you remember. No, really, was that a Skyrim reference? <laughs> if I said no, would you believe me? <laughs> also, no, but can we get back to the fact you're talking frog in my house? Absolutely not. <laughs> Yikes. So, anyways, <laughs> like five minutes ago, I was a cool wizard. But then I messed up a spell I was casting, and I guess I turned into a frog. In your house? <laughs> I have zero memories of what happened, and zero idea how to fix this. Can you help me out here? Frowny face? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Awesome! Since I need to get back to my human form, do you happen to know anything about transformation potions? Absolutely, I played Wizard 101 before. <laughs> Absolutely not, I will mess this up big time if you make me help. Perfect! I'll have you whip me something up, even though I don't remember what I need exactly. I do remember some of the ingredients vaguely. <laughs> For example, the first ingredient is something. Sweet. Totally got this in the bag, buddy. Or I literally just told you not to trust me with this. I totally got this in the bag. Awesome. You need to go around your house 
and find me ingredients. Bring them back here to my cauldron when you found it. So, what are you waiting for? Go find me something sweet. You better hop to it. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, Diego. What? Did you already forget what I said? You mean froggette? Uh, find me something sweet in your house. Bring it back to my cauldron when you're done. Okay, sounds good. Strange cauldron you have here. Some weird spells. Nice little wizard staff and wizard hat. You got, a, you got burning candles over here? Man, this is dangerous. And a butterfly. Wow. Okay, I think we've already found our first item. What is this? A donut. Perfect. Well, let's bring the donut on back into the cauldron. Here you go. That must have been the correct ingredient. Look, my magic's already coming back. Heck yeah, what's next, buddy? It was hard not to eat, though. Hey, why were some objects glowing? Yeah, that's a good question. Because I used my frog magic to help out. Obvi. <laughs> oh, sick, that checks out. <laughs> I thought you didn't remember anything. How would you know what to enchant? <laughs> I got your back, bud. Anyway, let's move on to our next ingredient. <laughs> I need something cold. I'll be here when you find it. Smiley face. Well, thanks, Diego. Looks like we got something cold downstairs. Or something cold right here. <laughs> Photo of my ex! <laughs> Wait, what is this? What is this over here? Oh, nice kitchen. Ice. Oh! <laughs> It's gotta be the photo of my ex. It has to be. And a candle. <laughs> I gotta get the photo of my ex. <laughs> perfect. This will be the perfect ingredient for your cauldron. Uh, I'm scared to ask, but what was that? The absolute coldest, coldest hearted person I've ever met. Nothing. I just really wanted to get rid of that picture. My ex lol. <laughs> We'll do number three. Weird flex, but okay. Regardless, that seemed to have worked. <laughs> Not gonna question it. Just gonna move on. Next, I need something electronic. You know where to find me. Double smiley face. Okay. Am I grabbing the whole computer or am I grabbing the TV? Let's see what we got here. PC tower? What's that down there? Is that just a plant? <laughs> it is, It's it's a plant. And then we also have the TV. Huge TV. You know, let's grab the uh, PC. The tower PC. This one's got a smiley face on it. So surely this must be the correct item. Let's go. A whole PC for me? With a 4080 nonetheless. Oh my God, that must have been so expensive. For you, definitely worth it. More of a console guy. I think I feel a little woozy. It's definitely worth it. Stop, you're gonna make me blush. With that, we only need two more ingredients. I'm gonna miss you after you're gone. Gone like when this is finished. Not like dead gone. That would be crazy. Lol. Hmm, for this next item, I need something green. <laughs> you know, you're, you're pretty green. <laughs> Are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Oh my god, no, you may not use me. Thank you for asking. <laughs> the frog is trying to kill me. He's trying to kill me. Okay, we got a few different items to choose. I'm gonna just choose the correct path here. We got a green pear with a smiley. An orange, orange. <gasps> and kiwi, pick up Santiago. Santiago, I'm sorry, I have to do it. You're green. <laughs> Santiago, no! <laughs> Did you just throw your pet into my cauldron? I mean, he was green, wasn't he? He never paid his rent on time, or I definitely don't feel good. What is going on? Uh, he never paid his rent on time. You're a scary kid. You know that, right? <laughs> All I need is one last ingredient. I need, drum roll please, brrr, something sharp. Smiley face. Don't worry about why for the potion. <laughs> Just bring me back something sharp and this will all be over soon. Devil smiley face. Just bring me something sharp. 
All right, all right, it's all gonna be over soon. Let's see, what do I need? What do I need? I'm not seeing anything. I'm assuming I need a knife. But where do I find a knife? I'm a little wobbly right now. Thanks a lot. Slice of bread? That's not very sharp. Oh, a cleaver. Knife with a little heart. <laughs> All right, let's go bring this up to our friend Diego. All right, buddy. I got you a knife. <laughs> oh man, you made this way too easy for me. Anyway, probably want to brace for the fall. It'd be a shame if my dinner got scuffed up. <laughs> no, Diego, I trusted you. You had a great mustache and everything. Am I alive? Am I okay? He's <laughs> sharpening the knife. <laughs> Truth is. Yes. The game was rigged from the start. <laughs> Fallout New Vegas reference as well. Skyrim. Ending one of three. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try this again. All right, Diego. I don't trust you. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Hold on. I'm getting serious deja vu. Oh, really? Cool. I don't need to explain this to you then. Grab me something sweet and we can get a move on. Smiley face. Okay, now we're gonna do the complete opposite of what uh, our little frog friend was wanting. Slice of cake, that is too sweet for me. Cupcake, wait. Talk to Santiago. There's a frog in our house? He said he frog -ot? How he got here? Man, that's the lamest pun I've ever heard. <laughs> It'd be so lame if some dev based a whole game off a pun as lame as that. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. All right, so we got cupcake, slice of cake, or the donut. I guess I'll grab the cupcakes. We got the, we got the donut last time. <laughs> Just throw it. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we're, I guess we're just using this one then. All right. Let's go back in. Let's put in the donut, I guess. That must have been the correct ingredient. Oh, really? Look, my magic's already coming back. Hey, why were some objects glowing? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Because I used my frog magic to help out, Obvi. Thought you didn't remember anything. How would you know what to enchant? So anyway, <laughs> I need you to bring me something cold, like now, and stop asking so many questions. Kids, SMH, am I right? <laughs> All right, we're definitely grabbing the candle this time. So I think the first one, you have to choose the correct object, but moving forward, you can start grabbing the wrong ones. So let's see how, oh, wrong way. Let's see how this goes. Also, you can crouch for some reason, I don't know why. But let's put the cauldron in. Hey, what are you doing? That's not cold. <laughs> I'm an agent of chaos and let the intrusive thoughts win. Ugh, since it was your first mistake, it's probably fine. But don't do that again. <laughs> Next, I need something electronic. It should be a lot harder for you to mess this one up. SMH. <laughs> okay. Wait, can I just pick up random objects and throw it in? Like, I don't think I actually need to grab the wrong thing, right? I mean, I'm gonna grab the plant regardless, but I, earlier I could grab like a slice of bread. All right, putting this in, put in cauldron. Hey, what did I say about messing up my potion? What is going on here? Better question, what on earth is happening right now? Just normal potion making side effects. The fumes and stuff, yeah. <laughs> we only need two more ingredients. Go fetch me something green or else. Or else what, huh? Or else what, Diego? Hmm, you threatening me? I don't think you should be threatening me like this. Threatening me with a good time. Okay, we got a few objects. It's getting darker and darker by the moment. All right, we're definitely grabbing an orange for our green object. Let me in. Let me in. Dude, why is it so dark? <laughs> All right. All right, frog. Here you go, here's an orange. How hard is it to follow my simple instructions? What? 
I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Very hard. Where did the exit button go? You know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's too late. All I need is one last ingredient. And all I need is something sharp. Don't worry about why. It's for the potion. <laughs> Just bring me back something sharp and this will all be over soon. Devil Smiley. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> oh, this is creepy now. Oh, it's just pitch black outside. Wait, I want to look around the house like this. This is cool. Oh, what the heck? Oh, what the heck? Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is really cool. Okay, let's see uh, what we got here. I got bread. I, I'm going to grab the bread. That's the obvious choice here. Oh, oh. Santiago? What's going cool? What's wrong with you, buddy? <laughs> you don't look so good, buddy. <laughs> Why don't you lie down? Santiago, you don't look so good. <laughs> what is happening? I'm going to look around here. Oh, there's something on the stump out there. Um, I'm going to grab this slice of bread here. What does it turn into? Or it's just some strange potion. Okay. All right, well, we got it. Oh, it's a squirrel out there. <laughs> All right, this should be sharp enough. I'm sure it is. Here you go. Hey, what have you done? You've ruined my potion. <laughs> I'll show you what happens to those who try to escape. This is turning into a whole new game. <laughs> hey, where did you go? Oh, I see. You wanna play hide and seek? Smiley face. Well, ready or not. Here I come. <laughs> um. No, I don't like this anymore. I don't like this anymore. Spellbook. What a beautiful spell book. Bread plus fire plus wood plus orange equals mirror is broken? Okay, so that's what I just did. Saw plus spoon plus jack in the box plus deer equals the key? Candy plus cold plus pear plus Electronic equals frog. Oh, see, these are the three endings. So this is the other ending that I need. Got it, got it, got it. Cauldron. Um, I'm supposed to play hide and seek, but I don't, I don't know where I'm hiding. Where do I hide? <laughs> what is this? Newspaper clipping. Four more go missing. The count rises to 18 people missing since last April. Harvester. Townsfolk have been shrouded in misfortune, and their bad luck doesn't appear to be slowing down anytime soon. Last spring, a small laboratory moved into the town. Despite many townsfolk objections, since then, people have reported abnormalities with varying severity. From light flickers to seeing shadow people to even people missing. The count has gone from 14 to 18 over the period of the last week. Of the 18 that have disappeared, six have been presumed dead, but zero bodies have been found. Locals say it's as if these people disappeared in their own houses. Okay. Bonesaw. Bonesaw. Where's Froggy, though? Where's Froggy? Okay, saw plus spoon. Wait, where'd, I, where'd the saw go? Wait. Where'd my saw go? Oh, there it is. Bone saw. Saw. Plus spoon plus jack in the box. All right, I need to find a spoon. But I got it. Come out, come out wherever you are. Where is he? Where is he? Where, where is he? Oh my gosh. Something is very wrong. I followed his instructions, but the walls are moving. He asked me for something sharp. 
I read the spell book. There is no recipe that calls for something sharp. I fear my life is in danger. And if you're reading this, you are too. Where's the frog? Where's the frog? Um. Um. What do I do? What do I do? I can't interact with any of these things. Froggy? Froggy, where are you? I'm scared. I'm scared. Into the bathroom, into the bathroom, into the bathroom. Or what used to be the bathroom, I guess. <laughs> this is wonderful. This is great. I really, really enjoy this. Froggy. Exit. I cannot exit. Oh, it's so dark. Okay, where's the spoon? There should be a spoon somewhere in the kitchen, I would assume. No interaction there. We have another note. Entity Dream Eater, case number, access clearance level S, security code 229. Entity named Dream Eater refers to itself as Diego. Appearance is redacted, redacted. It lures victims into a dreamlike state, giving them a false sense of happiness and security. In this state, it should appear to victims as a small frog-like amphibian, sending them on small quests. In reality, it is redacted. If victims should obey Dream Eater, then the entity can successfully devour the victim's soul and body, leaving no physical trace behind. However, if victims disobey Dream Eater, the entity cannot control its rage and will show its true form. To pacify Dream Eater, one has to redact it. Contact with Dream Eater is highly limited, as this is a Class S entity and should under no circumstances be interacted with by unprotected personnel. Last updated, redacted. This information is confidential and should not be shared with unauthorized personnel. Is this like an SCP thing? That I'm not aware of? Okay, okay, well, let's look around. <gasps> ladle, ladle, that's what I needed. <gasps> okay, okay, I gotta, get, I gotta get back upstairs. I don't know what this thing looks like. Why did I throw a ladle? Buddy? Buddy? <laughs> Little froggy? You out here? It's in the cauldron. It's in the cauldron. Okay. Jack in the box. And a, a, a deer. What is happening? What is happening? Close the door! Close the door! Why is the toilet open? <laughs> I'm freaking out! I'm freaking out! Um. Oh, can I hide in the bathtub? Oh. I think I can hide in the bathtub. Maybe? I, I don't know. I really don't know. I just gotta go, I guess. Okay, where's the jack in the box? Where's the jack in the box? I don't see it anywhere. It's not under the bed. Let's check in here real quick. Just real quick. I'm gonna close the door while I look. I don't know where the dream eater is. This was such a cute, nice little game at first with nice puns and video game references. I'm gonna close this door. I'm gonna close this door. What is that? What was that? What was that? Entity Remora. Case number G22, access clearance B. Security code 967. Entity named Ramora is a relatively harmless entity, it refers to itself as Santiago, and prefers the company of other entities. Its appearance is that of a large floating mass of or organics. Yeah, that's what we saw. When diagnostics have been run on the organic matter, the breakdown comes back as redacted and redacted. When it comes to Ramora's preferences on other entities, there are a handful that it has been seen with. However, it overall seems to prefer the company of entity Dream Eater the most. It escapes its enclosure regularly to voluntarily break into Dream Eater's enclosure. It has been noted that R Remora will insert itself into the minds of Dream Eater's victims. It has the ability to interact, but does not appear to harm the victims. While inside the hypnosis, Remora is often given the appearance of a kiwi-colored kiwi bird. We find this to be because of redacted and redacted. Oh, gosh. 
Check the box. <laughs> Where's our frog friend? Oh, the jack the box scared me. Yo, froggy, where you at? Where you at, buddy? You're freaking me out. You're freaking me out. Get to the cauldron. And then I just need a, a deer. Somewhere. I, I don't know where. <laughs> Where's the frog? I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. Where's the dream eater? Is this? Deer skull. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, 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 go. Where do you think you're going? What do you mean? Where are you? Where are you? Exit, exit. Please, please. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Developer, Taylor Reeb. Rebby? I don't know. <laughs> Santiago. <laughs> Silly stash. Oh, <laughs> uh, just wanted to be in the credits, Aaron. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. <laughs> I forgot. Absolutely incredible little game. Thank you for playing. Ending three of three. This was my first game ever. Thanks for playing. Oh, so sweet. I'm curious. Hi. Hey, you. You're finally awake. All right, serious deja vu. Cool, I don't need to explain this to you then. Grab me something sweet, we can get a move on. I'm curious what happens if you die. Or can you even die at the beginning of uh, the whole dream sequence? I'm wondering if there's gonna be anything different right now. Or if maybe I can grab anything else here? Oh no, you can't. Okay, so let me just grab the slice of cake this time. Um, so ridiculous. Must have been the correct ingredient. Look, my magic's already coming back. It's hard not to eat it. Yo, I feel that in my soul. Saw you throw it in and wanted to sneak a quick bite myself. <laughs> but like, being a frog and all, I thought it would be weird. Anyway, next I need something cold. I'll be here when you find it. Smiley face. I, I love the, the random text like responses that they have it's very good it's very very good so far okay let's head back in here grab our candle run back up so yeah i'm curious what the second ending would be then hey what are you doing that's not cold sorry it's an accident Ugh. since it was your first mistake it's probably fine but don't do that again. Sounds good. Next, I need something electronic. Should be a lot harder for you to mess this one up. SMH. Let's grab the plant from downstairs. <laughs> Yoink. It's plant time, baby. So this time, I'm, once I get into this strange world, I'm gonna get caught. And I'm hoping to not. <laughs> I can't be stuck here forever. You will listen to me. We only need two more ingredients. For the next item, I need something green. Go, now. Okay. Yeah, I'm hoping that like we get to see this creature a little bit closer up, you know? So I'm very curious, very, very curious to see what we get. My other thought is that the second ending is getting like half good items, half bad items. Let's see what happens with that. <laughs> How hard is it to follow simple instructions? Uh, very hard? <laughs> you know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's too late. All I need is one last ingredient. And all I need is something sharp. Don't worry about why. It's for the potion. Just bring me back something sharp, and this will all be over soon. 
Smiley face. Oh, you know what? You know what? Maybe the second ending is just leaving as soon as you get to the game. That's another thought, actually. I'll have to test that out. See if that works. If I can't get the second ending here, of course. Scooby-Doo, boop. Ba -da -ba Bam! Hey! <laughs> what have I? What have you done? You ruined my potion! I'll show you what happens to those who try to escape. Okay, let's see what happens this time around. <laughs> the music slowly degrading and getting all crazy is perfect. All right, hide and seek time. Hey, where'd you go? You want to play hide and seek? Smiley face, ready or not. Here he comes. All right, let's see. <laughs> see if I can run into this old frog somewhere in the house. So we did that. We did that. And we've done that. So there is gotta be something else here. Maybe I can just run in, run into the old froggy. So what, what makes that all fall over? I'm curious. Was it the jack of the box? All along? Er? So this is the cage where uh, the kiwi was being held. So I wonder what else is around. Uh, maybe I just have to grab everything again. And then we fail? Like we don't leave in time? That's my that's my other guess. So let's just let's just go run and do things. Put the thing in the cauldron. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I really hate it. I really hate it. I don't know where he is. Sniffing around. He's sniffing around. Where is he though? Like where actually is he? In here, buddy? Jack in the box. Jack in the box. Go, go, go. Quickly, quickly. Get the jack in the box in. Uh that was one, two, three. Now I just need the 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 antler, right? That's the only other thing. And that should just be. Uh, no, not in here. It's in the other room. This room? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. This room. This room. Ah. Oh, I didn't close that. <laughs> I, I definitely didn't close that. Alright, Deer Skull, go, go, go! Alright, let's get caught. Where do you think you're going? Wait, maybe I can use the key here? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Where is he? <laughs> Where is he? Does he just not come out? Does he, does he not come out until I get the key going? <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, I can't even crouch anymore. Interesting. Very interesting. So there's nothing else. There's nothing else for me to do with this key. What if I try to throw the key back into the cauldron? Or maybe there's something else to unlock? Like a basement door or something? I don't know, I don't know! Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I've got I've got nothing over here. It's freaking me out though. Let's throw it down the toilet. <laughs> throw it in the tub? No. Back in the cauldron. No, oh dang. Yeah, so I can't do anything else here. Strange, strange. Hmm. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm not going to record this next part, but I'm going to try. See what I can do to try to find this second ending. Because I'm, I'm very curious. I'm very curious to know what you do. So I'm wondering if maybe it's just leaving immediately after you start the game. Or if maybe it's actually just 
getting like most of the items wrong. It's like two items wrong, two items right for the total of four. So maybe that will maybe that will do the thing for us. I have no idea. All right, last item. We're putting in the bread. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> well, this is awkward. <laughs> you must have messed up the potion somewhere and turned yourself into a frog too. Why didn't you just follow my directions? <laughs> Perfect. There's us. We're the little frog. I forgot. <laughs> wow, what a, what a fitting ending to this incredible 10 out of 10 game. Ending two of three, wizard frog. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Really well done. Wait, what is what is going on at the bottom of the frog? Why is he got a band-aid down there? Um, this was hilarious, terrifying. I had no idea what I was expecting like, I, I, I read that it was a horror game, because on the page it's like, it's pretty clear that it's like this wholesome horror. Um, but I wasn't too sure, like, playing through it, because I got that first ending and I was like, oh, it's just like, oh, the frog is actually trying to kill you. Oh, spooky. And I was like, all right, all right, let's check out these other endings. And it wasn't until we were doing everything against his will <laughs> that we got just the most insane switch up of the whole stylization of the game and finding out that it, essentially this is like an SCP type of thing going on where it puts you into this goofy kitty environment and ha like acts as a frog to try to make you follow its directions. So it was really, really cool. Really, really enjoyed this thing. Had a blast playing through it. Made me laugh, made me like terrified. And like, honestly, I'd love to see what this developer continues to do since they said that this was their very first game. Uh, if you want to go check this out for yourself, it's available over on itch.io. Uh, I usually try to leave a link for these games in the description below. Um, so people are welcome to check them out. Um, or you could always check out the itch page. I think on the homepage, this is like one of the top 10 games that's uh, in the horror category at the moment. So that's really cool for this uh, little developer. But... Appreciate you all being here. And again, for those of you who are celebrating today, happy Thanksgiving. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear any thoughts and feelings from you all. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. And if you'd like to see any more content from me, you're welcome to follow me on any of my other socials like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, got a Discord channel, and a bunch of other cool things always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing and i cannot wait to see you all in the next video later <laughs>